Welcome to the third video in the five part series building the T-Rex 470 LM Dominator Super Combo. This is the electronics video and tail. So we're going to kind of mix two in together. I'm going to break it up into two parts when we do the video, but we're on page nine of the manual and that's going to cover dealing with the cyclic servos. Um, then page uh, 10 is putting on the belt, the actual belt system, but not building the end part of the tail. So the tail's at the very end uh, because the, the way that you're going to loop the belt on. So there, you're going to leave the belt basically out of, off the tail. So it's kind of goofy because you're not really putting the boom onto the tail all in one piece. So you're going to put the housing block on, put the belt in, and then um, slide the boom down the belt and then with the open part of the end of the uh, tail, go ahead and put on the housing. So I'm going to kind of do a, do the electronics piece and then um, end up with the basically just the boom housing. That being said, let's go ahead and open up the bags. We'll, we're going to put this over here, which is the main frame. Oh, one thing I do want to note is I did, as I said earlier, I, I, I took the gyro mount from the bottom here and went ahead and installed up here because this is where I'm going to put the fly barless unit. Okay, we have our three um, cyclic servos, which are the DS450M, they're the metal top servos, and then we have the tail servo, which is the DS455. Um, black aligns on that. All servos that are black now are the uh, designated for the tail, and the servos that are red are designated for the cyclic in, in each of the models. Um, so we have our servos here. I'm going to pull out the servo horns which is in this bag. So we have our tail servo horn, our cyclic, and uh, this bag is marked 470HZ2, uh, which does match up here. We have um, three balls, actually three that are the same, links and one that is different. The one that um, has the no collar on it, that's for the tail. We have four little nuts. Those nuts are for the back of the actual post and we have some small little screws. We have a, the um, pinion, set screw for the pinion, a couple larger screws which are for plastic. Um, so these are going to end up being the screws for um, the bracket here which we're also going to need. Okay, a few other items that I'm going to need. I'm going to need the Beast Plus. Um, I'm going to set up the frequency on the servos to match it now with the battery. I'm going to use the ESC because um, I have to solder it anyways uh, to put an end on it. I will be using um, EC3s. So here's the BEC, which is 50 amps. It can do 2 to 4 S, and it's up to 8.4 volts um, for the um, servos. I have the Beast plus wire bags and mounting tape, which is right here. Also in the package is um, the stickers, the little sheet and a little you know fly wireless user guide precautions from the line. Other item that's important is I've got the battery here so I'm gonna right now off camera um, I also have my tape which I'm gonna use in just a minute to mark the servos as I've done before with my marking pen. 
I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to put an end on this battery, which I'm using, and uh, put the ends on here so that I can use the battery to um, power the beast. I have to solder anyway, so I'm going to get that done now. I've gone ahead and take, done a couple things like I did in the previous video. Is that I've marked each one of the servos one, two, and three because it's going to be from the back of the helicopter. There's going to be one, two, three. Um, that's in the order of the swash plate. So if you have the swash here, this is going to be servo one, servo two, and servo three. So I go ahead and mark those. Um, here, obviously, this is a tail. I'll be able to see the tail wire very easy because it, it'll be in the back, so I'm not worried about marking. But these I have to put back in the right plug. So what I normally do is the first thing is I got to configure the Beast Plus, the Micro Beast Plus, to work with S Bus, and it's hard to do on the helicopter because normally. You, if you mount it back here, you've got it back here, you're trying to plug the batteries in, you, you're not close to anything. And if you plug a battery in the back side, you can do that, which makes it uh, fairly easy. When you set the receiver in the MicroBeast Plus, the way you do that is you have to apply power to it. So I have it set up so that I can turn around and easily push the button. So I turn on the radio, transmitter. I'm going to hold the bu button here and I just wanted to get the flash. Okay, so we have a single flashing. Now I have to, and because I'm using Fataba and the S bus, I want red flashing right here. Um, it's the uh, status light. So I'm going to press and hold, change the purple flashing. Press and hold, solid purple, press and hold, red flashing. Okay, I'm going to briefly press so I get a solid blue light. Press again. There you go. All right. Now I have to go in the micro beast and I need to set the servo frequencies. And because you do not want to plug anything into the micro beast until you set the servo frequency for the cyclic and the servo frequencies for the tail. Okay, we're going to hold the button and go to a solid light. And now we're going to turn around and press and go to, I'm not going to worry about A, which is orientation, not there yet. I'll do that when it's mounted on the helicopter. But I go to swash plate servo update rate, which is option B. And it's it's purple. That's a yeah, 50. That's the default. The DS450M servo can run anywhere between 50 and 200. It's going to run a lot better at 200. So I'm going to move my stick here. And you'll see that the status light is going to be blue. So I have set the cyclic uh, frequency to 200. Now we're going to go into the tail and we're going to do the rudder servo center pulse, which is option C. That defaults to blue. It's 1520. The DS455M is going to run out as 1520. I'm press the go to D and D defaults at which is rudder servo update rate defaults at 50. We want to change that to 333 hertz. And that color is flashing blue. So 
So now it's flashing blue. I'm going to exit out of the settings by just pushing the button. I'm going to go ahead and power off the unit. We'll go ahead and plug in the servos into one, two, and three and the tail. Here's number three. There's number two. There's number one. This is the tail servo. Place these in order of one, two, and three. So we've got one here, then two, then three. So we have one, two, and three, and then the tail. Now, uh, what I want to do is install the balls. And the balls on here, this is the tail servo ball. These balls right here, actually. So the aileron the ball is going to go in the first hole to the inside. The pitch, the ball is going to go to the inside first hole. And then the elevator is going to go to the second hole in, not to the end, but just the closest to the um, actual screw that holds the servo arm on. And it, it goes from the front, according to the instructions. Now, I'm not going to place the ball on this, a horn because I have to find out which one is going to be perfect 90 degrees. All right, I'm going to use red Loctite. Shake it up. And I'm just going to give this just a little bit of turn. I don't, there's not. A... Do not over tighten that. Oh, <laughs> 
All right, the three horns are done. So now I can turn around and plug in the power and we'll find center on these. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and apply the servo horns to the servos by using the Beast uh, Plus settings. So you can see here I've marked them. If you look at the helicopter, the elevator servo goes in this way. So the, the horn's gonna go to the rear to this side, so I'm put a piece of blue tape. That's that's number one. Number two servo is gonna go right here. So I went ahead and marked it with a blue piece of tape. And the third servo is gonna insert itself on this side and the horn is gonna to go towards the front of the helicopter. So I went ahead and put a piece of blue tape here. So that way I know where the blue tape's going. The last servo, which is the tail servo, the tail servo is gonna go, it's not down for a couple more steps, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. It's actually gonna face the rear, okay? And the ball is going to go on this side, so I'll put a piece of blue tape right here. Okay. Turn on the transmitter. Apply power to the Beast Plus. Okay, it's initialized. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the button and get and end up in the setup where it is a solid light. It's solid. Now I'm gonna go down to option number G, which is servo squash plate trim. B, C, D, E, F, G. I'm gonna go ahead and move the stick one time. See what servo moves. So this is servo number, should be th number three. So servo three. I'm going to take a card it needs to go down so I'm going to turn around and move That's right on. I'm gonna move the stick to the next servo, which is servo number two. Servo number two is on the left hand side. That's pretty darn close. I don't think I need to change it at all. I'm doing is looking to see if the actual hole is straight with the card here. And yes, this is plastic. Hard plastic. All right. So number two is done. I'm going to move this stick to the left and I should be at number one. Number one is the elevator. And the elevator arm is going to go to the rear. And 
And now I'm going to just do a small adjustment to All right, so my three servo arms are on. Now we have the tail, a rudder servo. So I'm gonna go to option E. So I'm gonna exit out, because I have to go to E. I'm gonna hold. So I'll light, B, C, D, E. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mark it with the exacto knife. A little scratch on it here. Pull it off. Go ahead and go through the setup to exit out. Power. Transmitter off. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. page number 11 and page number 11 if you see right here it says use the outer second hole can't see it but I put a little scar and the second outer hole is the one in the middle I will be right back. I'm gonna pick up the uh, nut to put on the back side. Okay, pick the one up off the ground. It dropped. As I said, it's not over tightened. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the transmitter back on. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna plug in the unit, let it boot, initialize. And I'm gonna go to rudder option E, which is rudder servo limits. Solid light. B, C, D, E. The horn's going to go to this side.
Now I have all my horns done. So that's the electronic part. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a moment and we'll install them onto the actual mainframe. All right, the package that was opened over here had the pinion, the two screws, which mount the servo, the DS455 to the um, rudder bracket or mounting bracket, the other three, and including this one, these are the four screws that hold the horn on. Now, I always shake the Loctite. I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite on the uh, plastic. Gun ahead and tighten that, holding the arm. Okay, all four servos are completed, or three actually, excuse me. Now we're going to go ahead and put this one So you do not want to over tighten these two um, self-tapping screws because if you do you're going to strip the plastic and there we have it so that one's in place that one uh, the tail rudder servo is now completed we'll move on to installing these servos the cyclic into the frame itself All right, we have number three. Three is going to go here on this side. Number one is going to go into the rear. And number two is going to be placed in this location. Get all these little screws. Apply just a little bit of Loctite. And you'll notice it on this build compared to the big ones is that the, actually there's no rubber grommets anymore and the servo is applied directly to the metal. On the larger helicopters you do have the rubber grommets with the brass insert that you need to apply because the spacing is accurate for those. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the side tape here so I don't have to take it off later. I have number three. It's all the wire through the. And then I'm going to go ahead and place the first screw in the top. I'm going to install the bottom screw. Those two are tight. Get a little more Loctite. Okay. 
number two. And remove the piece of tape. Now the elevator servo is question is, is how I'm going to turn around and run the um, servo wires. I, I know they're going to pop up through the back to plug into the Beast Plus, but I'm going to run this just for right now down through the hole. So if you can see that, that way it's going to miss. I have plenty of room to come up through the back. All right, we finished the bottom of page nine, installing the cyclic servos, or bottom or the whole page. And now we have to install the tail and the tail belt. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull those items, get them out here on the bench. I'll put this over to the side as far as the frame goes. I'm gonna take the beast and the other accessories and put them over here to the side. and my tail servo over to the side over here. Um, I'll go ahead and pull the tail box, the belt, and a couple other items, the main gear, and get those ready um, to go ahead and install into the unit. We're gonna take out of the bag part number 470HT1, which is the um, tail boom mount. And then we have all the screws which go through the main frame. We'll go ahead and dump those in there. We'll clean them. Okay, and we need the tail belt, which is in um, H70HT, um, although they say one, that's for the screws. We're gonna, we're gonna need the belt out of here.
Alright, now we have it in place. I'm going to go ahead and screw the two um, belt tension screws in place. And if you look down as you're tightening, which is to the right, you can see the um, wheels which put the tension, they move in and out. So I'm going to get them about equal distance. So that's pretty close. So now we have that in place. Feed the belt through. We have part number uh, 470HB3. That's the main gear. Go ahead and clean that screw. It's going through a metal collar. Threaded on one side, smooth on the other. The flat side's a smooth side, the other side's threaded. The main gear, the belt system, goes to the top, the collar is going to go to the bottom. And we put on the main shaft and the head. So I'm going to go ahead and fit the belt system around the main gear. If you look here on page 12, we're going to insert the main shaft. And I've skipped a couple spots here because I'm not going to put on the anti-rotation bracket until I get the main gear in place. And I'm not going to wire this until I get the main gear in place. I may have to pull the wires back a little bit and I'm going to do the wiring off camera. Um, the collar so the collar is going to go up from the bottom. It's going to require Loctite. Let me get that ready. All right. The trick now is to install the main gear. Put the collar on. 
But before I do that, I'm going to put a little Loctite on the back side here. And the back side being where the threads are. little Loctite on this into the screw just to make sure I don't want it backing off or out that was not good So the Jesus bolt right here, the top head screw, is in line with the bottom screw. Oh. Right through. All right, the collar's on, the belt, is in place. And I gotta check the play. Okay, so I have a little bit of play. That's gonna require either one of these two spacers, which I'm gonna have to take it apart. So there's a two millimeter point two, and where'd the other one go? There should be two spacers in here, but I only see one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the only one that's there. Not gonna mic it. I'll pull off the screw. more Loctite on it just to make sure. Let's see. I have no play. So we have now finished page page number nine, installing the cyclic servos. Page number 10, installing the uh, tail boom mount. I know on page, the bottom of page 10, it's calling to put the screws in both sides here. So all these screws in. The problem with it is if you do that, you're going to have to back them off to be able to slide the boom in. We're not at the step of putting the boom in, so I'm going to leave that alone. We finished the top of page 11, which is um, getting the rudder servo in place. 
Two things I didn't do was I have not installed the canopy mount bolt and the anti-rotation bracket. I'll do that in a little bit, um, but I haven't done that. And there's, you know, I, I don't want to install those yet because I'm going to wait till I get the boom in place and I'll come back and install that when I make the, I'll install both those pieces when I install the uh, links. When I had the main gear comes completely together. I checked it, everything's good, it's going to the plastic, so one piece, so we're finished with page 11, um, and we're halfway done with page 12. Um, all I have to do is make the links themselves, and then we will be finished with uh, page 12, and we'll be on to page 11, or page 13, which is the tail. So I'm gonna move this aside, I'll get my drill out, and uh, my caliber so that I can turn around and make the arms to length and then we'll fin have finished the um, mainframe and electronics okay I have my digital caliber the links are in the directions right here it says 35.5 I'm turn on right. 35.5 Okay, I'm going to lock it in place, turn turn off, that way I know my measurements. I'm going to gently grab this. Mind you, this is A for the one and two position, the A goes out and then the, the other A goes, one A faces out and the other A has to face towards the heli itself or the frame so the A's are on the opposite side roughly all right so this is that's the one for the sorry don't forget front left And yes, I know they have the little tool that they sent, but I set it down someplace and it's actually on my desk. I want to go get it. So we've got the A opposite, A facing up, A facing down. This is going to be number three. Not enough. Have a turn. Put 
put a half a turn on each side. This number three, and then the elevator servo arm is this one. And the elevator, the A is going to face this way, away from the ball, and then back towards the rear of the helicopter because it slides on. So we have our three arms made. And as I said, I'm not going to go ahead and place them on yet. Um, I'll do that in the next step. But basically, we have now finished the bottom of actually all of page 12. And all we have left now is to do the tail. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Tell you, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Uh, please turn around and like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, visit EnterpriseHobby.com for the latest information concerning Align products and also the blog pages. We're putting up the fun flies and some other things are changing, so we're helping there. Um, we appreciate you flying Align and thank you very much for watching.